this video we're going to have a look at congruence of figures in the plane. Two plane figures are called congruent if one figure can be moved on top of the other by a sequence of translations, rotations and reflections so that they coincide exactly. Congruent figures have the same size and shape. For example, this figure on the left can be rotated and translated to coincide with that on the right. So these two figures are called congruent. When two figures are congruent, then paired intervals have the same length, paired angles have the same size, and paired regions have the same area. This figure could have been uh, reflected downwards, rotated at about a certain point clockwise, and then translated horizontally, or another combination of transformations to reach this transformed figure here. The vertices A has become A dash. B has become B dash. C has become C dash, etc. The intervals A, B became A dash, B dash. The interval BC became B dash, C dash, etc. And the angles, for instance, angle EAB became angle E dash, A dash, B dash. Another example, angle BCD. became angle B dash, C dash, D dash, etc. So when two figures are congruent, the paired intervals have the same length, the paired angles have the same size, and the paired regions, for instance A, B, E, has the same area as A dash, B dash, E dash.